may not see them on the screen, but you'll soon see how they fared when they took on Georgetown. Georgetown, as B-Dome was pointing out, them and Waccamaw most likely on the outside looking in. Yeah, and I think Georgetown's definitely done. Yeah. Yeah. And, Aner, and, I, and I believe Waccamaw is too. I'm sorry. Aner's nowhere near it, though. In typical fashion, they are in the fight this time of year. Yeah, and that big win they had last week over Waccamaw, that was a turning point for the Jackets in terms of getting to the postseason. They won that one, and it put them over the hump. Could they have more success in a similar neck of the woods? Let's show you how this one played out. Aner visiting Georgetown. My man Dees. More Georgetown County football for you folks. Aner with the ball. Stanley will pass almost a double catch here. No, my ball. Ty Williams, though, comes down with it. Don't worry, guys. We'll be sharing the rock later on. Some red zone trouble, though, for Aner. That will give it away here. Georgetown recovers on this fumble. May have been forced by the ground, but in the ref's minds, the loose ball, and it's ball that belongs to Georgetown. Steel City team looking happy here, but next Aner drives Stanley with the keeper, and he will find Pater. Makes a man miss. Got to go low on those tackles, because that man will leave you in his wake. Big run score there for the Blue Jackets. Aner with the ball again. Not much happening offensively for Georgetown, but this trouble here. Another loose ball for the Blue Jackets as Georgetown recovers. Georgetown trying to get something going. They're going to give it right back to Aner. Loose ball. Man, there are a lot of turnovers. And that is a one. wet football tonight, apparently. Someone put butter on it. Aner not fumbling this time, though. Stanley throws it up, finds Gray. Great catch there. Nice pitch, pitch and catch. Yeah. I know. Sometimes you just got to put the ball in the air to keep letting it go on the ground. That's what I've been telling Jason Allen for years. Put it in the air, Jason. This one soon becoming all Aner in second half. Marco Meyer. Man, speed. You can't teach speed. The ref can't even stay with him. That's another Aner score there as they put this one to bed in Georgetown. 50-22, your final. Good win for the Blue Jackets. They put back-to-back -back wins together to put themselves in the postseason. Been a rough one for the Bulldogs over the last uh, three, four, five years, something around there. When I actually, when I first got here eight years ago, Georgetown was was good. I mean, they 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 were putting some things together. It's been a struggle though over the last couple of years, and they'll conclude their season as we alluded to at Dillon, and then next week's game between Loris and big Aner, big, big. that is a huge matchup because the winner there will lock down the third seed. The loser will be the fourth seed out of region. So there's a lot going on in that one that will be played out next week in Aner. So playoff seeding definitely going to be focused on week 10. And that's what's fun about high school football. And you get to kind of see where the puzzles start to fit when you kind of get to this point. But there's always a puzzle here or a puzzle there going into week 10 that you kind of have to put in place. Yeah, the story continues. 